Hey, what's up everybody? It's Demo, and this is the unboxing of my dream microphone, the Shure SM7B. I have been eyeballing this mic for at least seven or so years. I always wanted one, and now I finally got my hands on it, and I am super excited. This came in a bundle, so it came with a mic stand, it came with the cloud lifter and everything. And yeah, so first things first out of the box actually is the cloud filter. So, woo, you know, because the SM7B is a notoriously quiet mic. Its decibel levels are definitely far into the negatives, about negative 70, 69, around that area. This bundle thankfully came with some extra cables so I can hook up my microphone to the cloud and then the cloud to the preamp. And of course, the next thing out of the box is our centerpiece, the microphone itself, the Shure SM7B. Look at that bad boy. Even just watching this video while I'm making it to do the voiceover. Oh my god, I'm getting excited just looking at the damn box. Let's finally open this sucker and see what's inside. Alright, so first things first, obviously, with every microphone, with every piece of gear you get in anything, you're going to get paperwork. Paperwork, stickers, uh, in this case, the cloud filter actually came with something a little bit different, but this one did come with a sure sticker, which, you know, I think is nice. I'm probably gonna not use it, but I might, I don't know, we'll see. A manual, of course. I was starting to remove this top piece, but then I seen this little bit here. This comes with a huge freaking like wind guard like it's so big i did test it a little bit i didn't find it helpful in any way i don't know why people would use it apparently it's so if you're talking into a microphone you're really close to it that helps a little screw thing right there that is so you can you know if your mount is not compatible with the mic to put it on you can make your mount compatible so that's what that's for got a you know little sticky things not entirely sure what those are used for the back plate to the Shure SM7B so you can you know slap it on the back of the microphone itself once you got your settings that you want and our centerpiece of our centerpiece the microphone itself which I was very careful with I, I every time I get an item I try to be super careful with it oh man it's, it's in plastic but it's beautiful looking so artists like Michael Jackson have used this brand of mic. This, not this exact mic, but this brand of mic made Thriller. You know, one of the best songs ever made in history. As you can see here, looks nice, it feels nice. There's the switches on the back that you can do your different settings with. More on that later in a separate video where I'll probably review the mic in its entirety. As you can see right here on the back, we have our little twisty part so you could put it on a mic stand and next to that, our little piece so you can put your XLR cable in it. If you know the slightest bit about XLR microphones, this isn't knowledge to you, obviously. Now, like I said, this microphone did come with a bundle with a mic stand, so we're gonna hook it up to that stand. But first things first, we are going to unbox our cloud filter so we can hook it up to that. And of course, first things first, papers, paperwork, yes, check out our cloud branding. Obviously, underneath our papers, of course, is the cloud filter itself, and I tried gently pulling it out of there, but it turns out you actually have to take it out of the box and remove it backwards from the cardboard, which I thought was strange. So you can see me right there pushing it out backwards, and there it is. There's our big blue beast right there to help our microphone function properly. It's a little, little itty bitty thing, but would you believe this piece by itself is 150 bucks? It's pretty wild, gotta say. And other than a sticker, this one actually came with a magnet. So that's our little treat this time around is a little magnet. And I'm assuming these are Velcro strips to keep our cloud lifter from moving on specific surfaces, but we don't have to worry about that for right now. All right, we got our Shure SM7B right here, and let's just hook it up.
our next step is to take one of our XLR cables and plug it into our microphone. Sure enough, pretty easy. Now we're going to take the other end that is plugged into the microphone and plug it in to our cloud lifter. Now when doing this, it will click. So just know when it clicks, it's really hard to kind of yank out of there. As you can see, it doesn't come undone unless you push a little metal tab in. Now once you got all that in, you just need to take your second XLR cord and plug it into the other side. Only one side of that cable is going to fit, so you cannot mess this up. And if you do, there's something wrong with you. So plug that cable into that side and plug the other end into your interface. Mine in this case would be the Behringer Euphoria UMC202 HD. It has two channels on it. All you're going to do is take your one end of the cable that you have left and plug it right in there. Now you're probably wondering how does the microphone sound when it's actually being used? Well, that for this entire video I've been narrating on the mic. Now I've only been using it for maybe a few days at this point by the time this video is out so I haven't found my correct sound settings that I want for but once I do I will let you know do a review video maybe even teach people how to set up their SM7Bs because not everybody knows for some reason how to use this mic and once I get it set in stone I will give you my settings I will tell you how to use it if not go check out podcastage go check out someone like Booth Junkies. Those two guys are amazing. I watch strictly them to get my home studio set up the way that it is. I strictly just watch Booth Junkies and Podcastage with uh, Bandrew. He's amazing. He's a fantastic dude. I've talked to him a few times on his Discord. Uh, it was a while ago. I'm still in there and I haven't been as active as I needed to be, but that's not the point. The point is this is the microphone and this is how it sounds with just me still setting it up. So tell me what you think about it. If you liked the video, give it a like. If you didn't, give it a dislike. Give me your thoughts on the microphone. Do you think it's worth it? Do you think it's not worth it? I think it's worth it every goddamn penny spent on it, especially since I got it in a bundle and it was discounted because it was in a bundle and blah, blah, blah. Anyway, that's the sure unboxing slash little setup kind of video there you know i will talk to you guys later thank you so much for watching and bye bye